and we'll be ready and waiting for them and we'll see what happens then but we may, we may fight and they may end up getting in but if we don't fight we've already lost so we're ready to we'll be ready and waiting for them and apart from that just apart from the actual activist and organization part one last case it's been really really heartening really enjoyable to see a bit of a rebirth of community spirit the last couple of decades the, I suppose it's the political system the, the media everything that's it's the community the idea of community and society has been ridiculed and it's just all been about your individual your people are living in their in their houses and they don't even know their neighbors they don't even speak to their neighbors and it's been amazing it's been really and just enjoyable the last few days people talking to each other, having to crack. I've met people from Dean's Grange that, that I never knew existed. And there's been great conversations, people bouncing ideas off themselves, off each other. And it, it, it's just, it's been, it's been really good. The local support has been great. The people are riding up with pots of soup, trays of tea. Yesterday a fella dro dropped up a, a car for us to sit in because it was freezing cold and he just said, there you are, you after the day. All that is very encouraging and it's great to see. And as I said, Everyone in this room is capable of doing it, and that's pretty much all I have to say on it now. So keep it up. Well done, well done, Paul, and well done to all the, the people in uh, Dean's Range and Fintons. Uh, and just to say on the whole issue of meters, we've done up um, some posters, right, which just say uh, "Water meters not welcome here," and uh, we've also done some leaflets with phone numbers which people can take away with phone numbers in some of the uh, areas that haven't been hit yet but where they could potentially be hit, hit yet so if people want to take them away uh, to just have for themselves so if there's phone numbers they need to ring if they see Irish water in their area that we can send out alerts put stuff up on Facebook all that kind of stuff uh, please take them away and Shane uh, helpfully has uh, got some sticks and some uh, plastic um, we, we, maybe a demonstration. Mike. <laughs> it was in early this morning, there was no one else in, so I've, I've got plenty of bits of plastic basically to put the posters on. Sticks, there's about 120 of each out in the car there, so if anyone wants any today, just do the shout and we'll grab them out of the boot of the car afterwards, okay? Yeah. So and the idea is now the one thing you will have to do, like we, we can print out loads of these, we printed these in my office in Dunleary, uh but they will get affected by the rain. So we, uh, so the one thing we have to ask you to do because we, can, we can't afford to do all of them is to we suggest that people laminate them in some way or cling film some of it around that and the plastic, right? So the, it, for people who have gardens. Uh, or anywhere that they can stick it up, right? So that we see a visible indication, which will be a bit of a, a warning to Irish water, and just a way of encouraging the idea of resistance to the meters and to Irish water in each locality. So those are up here. If people can take them away, and Shane can give you the sticks and the plastic. Uh, if, if, if you'll need a hammer and nails, I think as well to put, put it together. Uh, or you can put it in your window. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So listen. Uh, that's, uh, that's, those are the basic reports and at the end of this when we've had the discussions we need to make a few decisions just about uh, first of all that we are continuing the battle against water charges uh, secondly about what we're going to do on the 31st about future demonstrations uh, and uh, obviously we need to keep these assemblies going and swell them so we may need to make a decision, decision when the next organising meeting is going to take place but people may have other suggestions and proposals as well. So if you want to speak or make a point or a suggestion, just stick up your hand and we'll take you there. Yeah? Go ahead. Hi, I've actually put a poster similar to that on our railings of our house. But what happens is within an hour, a few hours, somebody has torn them yeah. down. Has anyone else had any experience of that? Yes. Okay, that's that's more than one. Who is doing it? Does anyone think? Your your good self. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not tearing them down. <laughs> I just don't want to. Does anyone know who is 
just tearing them down. <laughs> Kids whose parents believe in all we should pay, says one speaker. Thing is, we're we're on a route for the car that drives by. Does anyone think it's them? No. No. Okay. Okay. So now we need not just vigilance for Irish water, but we need vigilance for people taking down posters to Irish water. Uh, anybody else? Where do you live? Because I have to, we have to have our garden and that being posted. So where do you live? Where do you live? Crossway Park. We have to in our garden and then on Amazon. Yeah. 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 We have to be in touch. Yeah, you know, I'd say it's probably just kids. But this, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we try not to get too sidetracked on that issue. If we get enough of these open, it'd be very hard for them to take them all down. Uh, yeah. Hi, I've been reading a lot of stuff on Facebook and watching what's happening over the protests, and I want to suggest a couple of things. One, don't start a huge argument with the Gardaí. If you're protesting anywhere and they tell you to move, make sure you're moving, even if you're inching along. If you stop, you've given them a reason to arrest you. Don't put yourself in that position. Secondly, don't travel too far to protest. They're taking pictures of the protesters. Don't go over to Tala. I know, I don't mean to be mean to anyone from Tala, but protest your own area. If anyone asks you why you're protesting, and you just say, I'm a resident, don't give your name. Don't give your name to the Irish water people if they say, I want to check your water pressure. Who is this? Is this? And they check your name. You just say, 